TV back with another video. I was going to keep this to myself, but it has been highly requested, so it took a lot of courage to make this video in order to help my fellow dental darlings. And I just hope to give you hope. I will do my best not to cry, and I promise to keep it 100 with you. In 2017, I applied to dental hygiene school. At first, I didn't get accepted, therefore, I was waitlisted. Two weeks after I found out I was waitlisted, I got an email stating that I've been accepted into the program. I was excited, but excited with no plan. For example, when it came to lunch bags, backpacks, water bottles, what I wanted to do with my first check when I got paid for working as a hygienist, I had it all figured out. Yes, foolishness. That didn't matter at all. But more importantly, things such as study time, jobs, bills, expenses to be paid during the program were the farthest things from my mind. When I got into the program, it was crazy because I got accepted late. I missed orientation. The first day of school, I locked my keys um, to the house. So I was late to class. I remember my, my book bag, my lunch bag, my water bottle, and every other thing that isn't important but forgot to grab my keys. <sighs> After my aunt came <laughs> with the key to unlock the door, I felt so embarrassed walking into the classroom looking beyond crazy, like flustered and looking, literally looking crazy. <sighs> Nevertheless, as the semester went on, class after class, I was failing every test, every exam due to my lack of hours, due to my work hours at work. I worked retail at a clothing store and because the program was still expensive at first, yes, the, the most, the most, uh, the first semester is the most expensive semester that you will ever spend in the entire program. Just the fact that you have to purchase dental instruments that are around three thousand plus dollars yes three thousand plus dollars on top of dental hygiene dues and all their expenses such as loops which are like magnifying glasses that cost around six hundred to a thousand dollars i'm telling you dental hygiene is the most expensive undergrad degree nevertheless i was overworked i never slept therefore i always slept during class time but yes during the class time i would literally sleep put my head down on the desk and i'm sleeping during class time like i said i always left work late so i was super exhausted when i when i got home when it's funny time to go home, of course, I'm studying on a, on a sleepy brain. Forget it. It's super hard to do. That was first things first. Second, um, I wasn't taking it seriously as I, as, I, as I should have. I would rather hang out with friends, talk on the phone, literally sacrificed nothing to pass the first semester. Needless to say, I failed two classes, so I had to stop the program. Similar to like a nursing program, with you know, if you fail one class in a nursing program, you have to wait a year until the class is offered again. Really similar to hygiene and hygiene. If you fill out two classes, you have to wait until the until the classes are offered again. That was unknowingly my first warning to being kicked out of the program. I say unknowingly because the advisors don't tell you this when you get accepted into the program. They don't tell you that kind of stuff. Um, as I asked other students, they had no knowledge of that information either. It was too little too late to ask if I could meet up to study with friends. Even when I asked, they said yes. You know, can you believe my response was, oh, no, I'm sorry, but that time is too late. Um, there will be no parking when I get back home at the, the parking lot of my apartment. Comment down below if you have ever lived in, in a community where the parking was ridiculous and you figured out how, how you dealt with it. Like, <laughs> anyway, um, everything was an excuse in order for me to excel in the program. I felt too embarrassed to go to the professor's office hours. I just felt so overwhelmed that I was like, you know what? Let me take the time to step back and reevaluate myself. And because I waited too late to ask for help, I had to take the L. It was a hard C, but I took it. For a few classes, the other two classes, I got a D. Bottom line in this video, if you fail to plan, then you plan to, then you plan to fail, period. I will make a part two to this video, so stay tuned. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Please study hard. Be encouraged, like what the sign says back here that you can't, it's kind of hard to see. It says, pray, eat, sleep, and hustle. But I love you guys to death. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, by the way, my shirt just floss. Um, got it on Etsy.com. No, it's not sponsored video. I don't get, I don't get paid for this, but just sharing. Yeah, just floss. So please, guys, floss your teeth. Bye. Take care, guys. <laughs>